Heavy Iron Westbrook's here in my Mercedes Benz. And I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to flex. I'm not trying to show off. It's, it's one of the cheaper Mercedes on the market. So uh, I just I just wanted to take this moment, right, to be kind of real with you and myself. You know, I remember when I had dreams of a car like this, push to start, automatic windows, panoramic sunroof, connects to my smartphone, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff, right? Um, basically, you know, my first car was nothing even close to this. You know, I had the wind up windows, you know, I had like manual locking, you literally had to go like this, you know what I'm saying? So it was a struggle, no cap, you know, my first car, I got it for a good deal through my uncle who worked at the auction, you know, so that was pretty cool. I remember I worked my, I worked my like summers away just trying to stack up enough cash to purchase my first car. Before I even got my license, I bought the car. It was a Mazda 626 LX. It was a really cool car at the time. You know, I was 16, 17, getting out onto the road. So anything was good for me at that time. Uh, you know, I just remember having issues with the windows, like not not coming down or sticking, you know, and, and you know, the serpentine belt making <laughs> screeching sounds and just a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, at the time I look, you know, I, I at the time, you know, I was probably mad about and I was upset about and like, you know, I want a better car. But I look back and it's just like, you know, typical things and nothing to even be upset about, little blessings in the skies and all that got me to this point. And, and I'm saying everything here right now to you because you know, maybe you don't have a Mercedes. Maybe you don't have your dream car or maybe you're not, you know, happy with the car you're in right now. However, if you have a car and you are, you know, able to get from A to B or if you're about to get a car and it's not going to be your dream car, just get a car. It's not it's not going to really define you entirely, you know. Uh, basically, you know, as long as it serves its functionality in the beginning, you'll find, you know, you'll find uh, yourself happy. I have a lot of good memories, you know, that I made in my first car. My second car, which was... Uh, a Toyota, you know, I went from a 1998 Mazda to a 2002 Toyota to a 2005 um, Scion TC, you know, all of which I bought cash, you know, for money that I earned for myself, you know, um, and then I decided, you know what, it's time for something a little bit more mature, something more uh, <clears throat> prestigious, so... I just went for it, you know, I got my credit and my finances and everything in order, so I felt like I deserved it. Uh, basically, just don't give up on your dreams. Don't ever feel like where you're at now is where you're always going to be. And if you're not happy with what you have right now, just take it for what it is, accept it, and I promise you better things will enter your life. And I'm grateful to be in this Mercedes. However, you know, this is not it for me. You know, my, my end goal is, you know, multiple cars or you know at least exotic cars and uh, just always leveling up right so even though I'm, I'm at a place now where I'm pretty happy and yeah yeah I get compliments on my car or whatever it doesn't really stop me from knowing that there's always more to attain there's always more hustle to be put in there's always more work to put you know to put in and <clears throat> I still see, you know, tons and tons of things that motivate me on a day-to-day -day basis. So never get complacent, right? Never find yourself in a position where you have to feel like, okay, I've done enough and I'm going to retire and throw in the towel. You can always, always, always level up. You can always get more. You can always get further ahead. Guarantee. Hope this video finds you well.